I was, remember being 12 years old and telling my mother that I will be single for the rest of my life. I have been single for three and a half years. I think at this point in my life, I'm not necessarily looking for the end all be all, but I'm not looking for just a fling. I'm looking for somebody with substance and I'm looking for somebody who has some sort of passion and career in mind. I've probably been doing online dating for, for about five months. I'm always up for like a hell of a good time. So when I moved to Syracuse, I thought it was a perfect time to do online dating because I didn't know anybody here and it was the best way to make friends. So I figured this would be easy enough to go online and meet some people and I, at this point I honestly thought I got nothing to lose. There was a point, I wanna say for a month, that I went on a blind date every other day. The thing that managed how many dates I would go on in a week is my job. I work for the events company in Syracuse, New York. I am a wedding planner and an event design director. Um, as a wedding planner, I do interact with couples a lot. The first thing I ask them is, oh, how did you get engaged? And tell me the sappy story of how you fell in love and he proposed. I mean, I think the generic thing that I've learned from working with couples, it doesn't really matter who you end up with or what other people think as long as you're happy. I'm usually at work till about six or seven o'clock at night. And then I usually come home, hang out with some friends, go for a drink or find something else to do, which will usually end in having a blind date with somebody because I have nothing else better to do. <laughs> I don't know, but I get, I get, I usually will get nervous before I go on a blind date just because I don't know what to expect. And maybe that's part of the reason why I like going on the blind dates is because I like that adrenaline rush of it. Um, but usually when I get there, it's just kind of, I just look at, I figure whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And, you know, I'm there already. Might as well make the best of it and get free dinner and drinks. <laughs> And plus the drinks help me fall asleep at night, so it's nice. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I necessarily believe in online dating, and I don't think that I would necessarily say that online dating would be my first choice of meeting somebody. But I would say 70% of the guys that are on there, you know, aren't people that I would find attractive or that I would be interested in dating based on, you know, their lifestyle. But, I mean, who am I to say that they couldn't be a great person? When I do ask people why I'm single, the first thing they ever say is because I'm intimidating. And fuck's sake, what the hell does intimidating mean? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> if somebody could explain to me why I'm single because I'm intimidating, that would be great. Mm -hmm.